guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 116, I think, 16, 17, somewhere around there. <laughs> welcome back uh, yeah so I've been away just for a week so nothing crazy's changed <laughs> but I did want to hop on because I've been getting a lot of emails and messages and uh, comments and stuff which I do appreciate everybody's um, messages emails comments <laughs> um, and thoughts and prayers and all that for the, the town that I'm going through right now and I'm just gonna pop out and say that I'm not gonna talk about it <laughs> because I don't want to talk about it right now uh, I, but I do miss you guys and I miss um, you know communicating through YouTube and all that so I am gonna make a video right now obviously <laughs> and um, just talk about crafting and that's gonna be it I do want to let everybody know that I'm you know we're okay here um, we're just going through something that really sucks and we're just going through it so we're gonna try to just get through it and uh, continue on living and uh, but yeah so let's get on to the crafty stuff which is the good stuff I have um, one finished object that I could share with you and then I have one uh, was uh, what am I saying? <laughs> a whip that I forgot. It's in my living room. I gotta go get it. Okay, so the finished object is the. It used to be called the Princess Charlotte um, blanket, christening blanket, but then it got renamed to the Little Cherub set. The reason it's called Little Cherub set is because it's a blanket, but you, it also has a christening gown and a little hat. I think as part of the pattern, but I just made the blanket. I showed this before and I ran out of yarn and then I went and bought yarn and then ran out of yarn again. So I ended up having to go buy another ball of yarn. But in total this has almost five balls of yarn in it. But it's done. All the ends are woven in. I love it. I made Jesse one just like this when I was pregnant with him. But it was a different color and different weight. It was um, like Lion Brand Baby. It's like a number three I think. And I had to hold, hold two strands together. And it actually might have been thinner than a three. It was really thin yarn. I did not like working with it at all. <laughs> Even doubled up. But um, this is uh, Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Baby. And the colorway is Grasshopper. So there's almost five balls in this. Like I had a little tiny scrap ball left that I gave to the girl that I babysit. Or I will be. It's in a bag down there. <laughs> Uh, I give her a lot of my scrap balls of variegated yarn because I usually don't use them for anything else. And she likes to make random blankets and stuff with all kinds of colors. So, But I love this. This is one of my favorite baby blanket patterns, so I'll probably make it again in the future. But it's done. And pretty. <laughs> I'm ready to go in my finished objects tote. And then, uh, yeah, that's all the things that I did crochet <laughs> that I finished. The only other thing that I was working on a little tiny bit was my Halloween blanket. And it's called the Pumpkin Face Throw. It's a free pattern by Yarnspirations. And I showed last time all the orange squares that I made. And then I showed this square, but it wasn't done. Now it's done. <laughs> I finished the black border and woven all the ends. So now I think I need to make um, three more like this. I think so. I think I need four in total. And then just put them all together, make the appliques, put the border on it, and it'll be done. I just haven't worked on it at all. I haven't been crocheting very much at all the last week. Uh, I, I sewed some, and I'll show you that in a minute. But I'm, I'm at, uh, I am anxious to get this done because I really like the way it's coming out. So I'll probably sit down at some point today and work on some more of these squares. And then try to get it done in the next week or so. So I can share it with you guys. But it's, um, it's coming along. It's living in a big bag. <laughs> that's my only crochet that I have to share with you so I'm going to show some sewn finished objects I got four of them right here that I made this is a new bag that's going to be in the shop in the next update uh, all of these ones will be in that shop update except one because my mom has claimed it <laughs> she she wanted to buy it from me but you know I didn't, I'm not going to make my mom pay for it so I just I told her she could just have it but yeah so I shared these on my Instagram and I've been wanting to make something different because I got you know I kind of get burnt out making um, drawstring bags and the same little zipper pouches all the time. And every now and then I do make crab bags. Sorry, my air kicked on. Anyways, I do make crab bags every now and then. And sometimes I make um, zipper project bags very rarely. Because <laughs> I don't like making them. But, um, so I found this pattern because of my friend Phyllis. She made one and shared it with me on Instagram. So then I went and watched the video. And then I liked it so much that I went and bought the pattern. The bag pattern from the woman who designed it. Which her company, her brand name is Erica's Made, I think Erica Made, and I'll link the pattern below if you're interested in purchasing it and making it yourself. 
but here's the bag. This is the first one I made. It is a boxed bottom little tote bag. Same side, I'm labeling it. It is, this one's quilted with light batting, which if you're not a sewer, it's really thin, like squishy material. Kind of like, it's almost like a cotton ball that's been spread out. <laughs> so it's just, it just gives it a little squish. It makes it a little bit stiffer than just regular fabric. So this was the first one that I made. And you can see the quilt lines. I just went diagonally. <laughs> I've never quilted anything before. And I don't have a quilting machine. My machine is just a regular one. I'm sure it probably can quilt. I just, I never looked into it. So I just made lines. <laughs> I thought that'd be easy for a first time. And it does have a box bottom. I already set that. And I, I put handles on it. Instead of making handles, I bought this stuff. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> it's a uh, handle material. <laughs> and put them on there. So there's the first one I made, and then the second one I made, this is with medium weight quilting batting. Uh, so it's a little bit thicker than that first one. It's another dog print. <laughs> and it's got dog bones inside. So that's the first one, that's the size it is. They're not huge, I wanted to make sure I showed the size. They are, I think, eight inches tall, and I think 12 inches wide. Um, once they're all together, and then they're, you know, they have a, whatever that's called. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> About the best. And then I did make this one. This is like a beach theme one. Got beachy words on it and it's got just a blue inside. I haven't put the label in this one yet but there will be labels in all of them. Box bottom. And then the last one I made is an orange one. I was thinking of <laughs> Mad Mimi when I was making this the whole time because I was thinking of how, how much she likes orange. So it's got an orange flowery outside and an orange little lines. I don't know what those are <laughs> inside. And again, no label, but I'll be putting it in there. So I made these four so far. I really like this pattern. It works up. They're a little bit slower to make than my drawstring bags, but um, it's still fun. And it's really fun to make something different <laughs> instead of the same bag over and over. I do have a bunch more of these cut out that I'm going to be making. And I got some more fabric. The fabric I'm going to show you in a little bit, my acquisitions, is probably, they're going to be um, drawstring bags because that's what I bought them. Bought them in mine for <laughs> and um but i do have some more of these i'm gonna be making and all of these will be up in the next shop update which will probably be i'm gonna say two weeks but it's probably gonna be before that i'm just kind of taking my time instead of working on them all day like i normally do and get them done in like four days i'm just kind of working on a couple bags a day like i made all four of these in one day but it was throughout the whole day like i sewed two of them the dog ones and then later that day i went back and sewed the other two I'm just trying not to stress myself out so much, but um, I got, I'm got i going to have a bunch of these kinds of bags in the shop, and there's actually going to be two of this one. I have two of this cut out, and uh, there's going to be drawstring bags, which I'll show you the prints, and I also got some random ones already cut over there, but I didn't want to bring them over here. <laughs> it's just random. Every, I'm trying to get, you know, work through my fabric stash and my yarn stash that's in here, because I want to get rid of these shelves that they're on, and put like a nicer looking shelf over there, <laughs> and uh so I'm trying to empty that shelf off. But anyways, new bags. <laughs> I hope you guys are excited about these. A lot of people on Instagram seem to really enjoy them. I like them a lot. I think they're cute. I did put, uh, for pictures, I put, you know, you could put a bunch of yarn in here and a little project. This isn't good for a blanket, but this would be good for uh, socks, hats, scarves, shawls, and because there's, there's three of those in there. And your little um, hook notion pouch would fit down in there uh your phone your wallet if you want to carry it around as like a purse my friend phyllis the one that she made herself she takes it she said to the beach with her she puts her crochet project and like her phone and stuff in there so that she could just tote it around but i think it's really cute i do want to experiment eventually with a thicker batting so that it's stiffer because i only had um, low loft and medium weight or whatever on hand. I don't have any thick kinds. I never make anything with it. So I'm, I'm going to eventually buy some thick batting and see if that makes it a little bit stiffer so that the bag keeps its shape better. But yeah, I'm liking it so far. I think it's really neat. I also bought another bag pattern, but it's going to be a while before I, I get to work around to working on it. It's a, it's a tote bag with a zipper on it. <laughs> and I thought about adding a zipper to these. One of those floppy zippers that is open on either side. So it's just like a zip in the middle. I don't know. Right now, I'm just doing this. <laughs> That's as far as I got. But I'm really enjoying it. And I hope that people who want to buy them 
enjoy it too. <laughs> but they will be in the shop um, pretty soon, within the next two weeks for sure. All right, so I guess that's everything I have to show you. So I do want to show acquisitions. I got a lot of acquisitions. <laughs> um, some yarn, some books, some fabric, and this whole thing. I'm gonna show you this. I found this at my thrift store actually yesterday. And when I saw it, I thought of Bonnie <laughs> um, from Strawberry Bonnie. But, uh, because she found a whole bunch recently. But it's a doll head and arms. And there's a little arms or her hands. And I saw it and it was only 49 cents. And I was like, I'm buying that because I can make a little doll. Because <laughs> uh, she sent me some of those hobo faces, which I got put over there, that I want to make little hobo bodies for eventually. So this is going to go with them. Because look at her little face. It's so cute. And I'm going to make this too. This would be so cute too make one of those, what are they called? I guess a rag doll, where the body's floppy, maybe? I don't know, or stuff doll, I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get around to doing it. I just thought that was cute, and it was only 49 cents. I did pick up some books. Now, one of these books is just a recipe book. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. But uh, it also, throughout it, it has how to make little sewing projects. And then the other three have sewing, painting, crochet, knit, all kinds of different projects. They're just like um, craft general books. But I, I picked them up and I wanted to share them with you. So the first one, this is the one that's got a ton of little recipes. And these are like gift recipes. Like um, like it's got hot chocolate mixes and different types of mixes and jams and stuff that you would make in a cute little package and gift to someone. So this is the first one that I found. And it's called Christmas Gifts of Good Taste, 1998. <laughs> I was eight years old when this book came out. But it's just got a bunch of cute little ways to gift things. And I love giving little food gifts to people. I used to always make cookies and bark for Christmas. So, um, it's just cute. But these three have, I was flipping through them. They have all kinds of different crafts, including crochet and them, blankets and stuff. So, this is another, this is Country Woman Christmas 99. So, I was nine years old <laughs> when this one came out. But it's just got a bunch of cute crafts in it. And, you know, I'm trying to expand my sewing. Actually, this right here is one of the reasons that I saw it and wanted it. These little stockings, they're sewn. I thought they were super cute. But there are like some random crochet and recipes and knit and all kinds of stuff, stuff in here. And the next one is also Country Woman, but it's 2002. So I was 12 when this one came out. <laughs> it's just got a bunch of cute little stuff. And then this one isn't Christmas. This is just Better Homes and Gardens Country Bazaar Crafts. It's mostly sewn, but there are a couple blankets in here and I think some rugs that are crocheted. But I just, I want to start making cute little things like this and maybe putting it in my shop or just gifting to people. Just cute little sewing projects. I'm just trying to expand my knowledge. But there's a crochet doily um, placemat, I guess. There's another one on this page. And I thought this little bunny was cute. I don't know if I can make an animal sewn. <laughs> but, I mean, I only, you get as good as you practice, you know. So the more I practice, the better I get. But here's some of the crochet blankets. There's one here with a little sheep on it. And it's like a, uh, a graph, kind of. And this one's hearts. But yeah, I just picked them up. My thrift store sells books for super cheap. They, they charge by the pound, and it's 39 cents a pound. So this was probably like a couple bucks for these books. So I was excited about that. But yeah, so my other acquisitions, I'll start with the yarn. <laughs> Okay, I'll start with these ones because they're in the front. I've seen this yarn before. A lot of people love this yarn. And I've never had it before. And I wanted to try it. So I got, I got all that Walmart had. <laughs> My Walmart had six balls of it. And I didn't really know. I'm not that good at looking at the yardage and th saying, oh yeah, well I can make a blow out of that. So I always like to buy more than enough <laughs> than, um, to run out. Like I did with that baby blanket. But this is called Mandala Ombre. And it's in the happy colorway. I know a lot of y'all have seen this before. But it's like a rainbow um, I don't know what it's called when it's like not all dyed. Like some of the yarn is still white. It says it's ombre, but uh, it's not really ombre. There's kind of the way it works though. But I've seen a lot of people working up projects with these and I wanted to get some and try it. But I got six of them all together. I'm not gonna, there's all six of them. <laughs> I bought all the ones that my mom had because I, uh, I thought I'd make like a throw or something with it. I don't know, I haven't gotten that far. I just wanted it because it's pretty. And I was there, and it was there, so I bought it. <laughs> but yeah, so let me take this over there. And then I went to Joann's to get fabric, but they were also having a good... They had a yarn on sale for 20% off, and then they had all their clearance on sale for... It was the red sticker price, plus 40% off that. So 
so I bought some yarn. <laughs> Sorry, I had to turn off camera to scratch the heck out of my nose. It's itching. Something must have went a bit. It's red now from where I was rubbing it, but okay, whatever. Too much. So I bought, for just 20% off, I bought some of the uh, sugar and cream scrub off yarn because I've been wanting to try some. Last Christmas time, I got gifted a dishcloth that was already made with some of this yarn. And I loved it. And I still love it. I use it all the time. I actually used it last night. <laughs> so I wanted to buy some of this to make my own dishcloths with. So I bought two balls of the sell away blue color really pretty blue and white and that is dark blue also it doesn't it looks kind of black almost but it's dark blue and then i had to buy these ones <laughs> christmas colors um so i bought two of each of those to make dish cloths with eventually i don't know how many i'm actually you could probably get a couple out of each of these mm. And then on the clearance, I found some jeans yarn. I've never tried the jeans yarn, and I wanted to, so I took advantage of it. So it was on clearance for $2.47, and then it was 40% off of that. So it was really cheap. And I bought um, five, yeah, five balls of the faded colorway. It's like a light blue. The sun keeps going away. <laughs> but I bought five balls of it for under $10. Ugh, I beat all. So that's enough to make something with. <laughs> According to the thing, you can make a um, sweater with five plus balls, but I don't want to make a sweater. It'll probably be a blanket because I'm on blanket kick. I do that. I go, I make amigurumis for like months and then I turn around and make blankets for months. <laughs> but I always have a good stash of amigurumis and blankets on hand. So I guess that's good. But each of these have 246 yards in them. So that's a lot. It's a lot of yarn. And it's pretty color. I don't know what I'll make. Probably a blanket or... I don't know. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> That's all the yarn that I bought. And then I have a bunch of fabric here. These are going to be for drawstring bags, mostly. Some of it's going to be liner material for whatever bag I'm working on. Okay. I bought this fabric at my thrift store yesterday. It's kind of thicker. It's almost like a canvas, but it's softer than a canvas. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's a big old, it's like a two-piece yard hunk. And I bought it just for liner material because it's really neutral and it would be it would go with a lot of different fabrics I'm sure for liner because I always need a good neutral liner <laughs> material. Okay, these were actually gifted to me. I'm gonna move all these. Those yarns or those fabrics you already saw. But these are the ones I bought. I bought some Halloween and fall prints because they were there and I love Halloween and fall and I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy them. Hopefully there are people who want Halloween and fall project bags um before Halloween and fall. So I don't know, we'll see. But I bought this because I thought it was super cute. It's got a tractor and barn and pumpkins, so it's real folly and cute. <laughs> and then I got some more chickens because people always love chickens. Oh, this is cute because the background is chicken wire. And then it's got some chickens sitting on a nest and then the roosters are like strutting around. Just cute. And then I got this. I thought this was cute. It's just like vintage women being fabulous. And then I had, I had to buy this because it's super, super cute. <laughs> it's a Peanuts Halloween one. Uh, I hadn't seen this print last year. I got a different print. It was it had a lot of green on it last year. And I, when I saw this one, I thought I'd buy it because it's cute. <laughs> and then I found this one too and thought it was cute, obviously. I am saying that, but it's like garden themed. Super, super cute. And then I had to get some Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Again, this was a new to me print. I hadn't seen this one at Joanne's before. And it had more of the characters on it, which I liked. Because normally it's just Jack and Sally. But this has um, a few more characters on there. Fold it. And then I had to get this. This was so cute. It's Minnie and Mickey. Like, well, Minnie's a witch. And I guess Mickey, he looks kind of terrified. So he's not expecting it to fly, I guess. <laughs> So she's a witch and he's just like hanging on for dear life, but it's super cute print. It almost looks vintage because the colors, I just like it. And then I got this because I was thinking about my mom when I got it. <laughs> she loves sunflowers and so I also got little yellow birds. Super cute. All right, that's all the outers that I bought. And then I did buy a whole bunch. <laughs> this was on clearance. And again, because it was on clearance, it was the red, it was the sale price, which this was uh, clearance fabric. So it was, it was like, um, $16.99 but then it was 80% off of that and then 40% off of that so it was like super cheap <laughs> so this is just a bunch of flannel and I use flannel a lot for liners for bags because it works good so I bought all the head lifts of these three colors 
So it's multiple yards. This one's, I think, seven yards. This is like four or five, and this is a couple yards. And then this is like a, this is 100% cotton fabric, but I got it, it's meant to be made into tablecloths because it's really long and that's what it's meant to be. It's meant to be tablecloths. Oh, it's got like a fall thing on the bottom, but I don't even care about that. It's like a vineyard kind of look. I got it for this part because <laughs> this part here is the same size of a normal bolt of fabric. It's folded in half. So I got it so that I could use this beige color, tan color, whatever this is, as bag liner. <laughs> and again, I bought all they had. This is like eight yards, I think, folded up. It's really heavy. But I'm just gonna cut this part off down here and just discard it, because I don't need it. And use the brown part for bag liners, because <laughs> it's 100% cotton and it'll work. Ooh, it's real heavy. But yeah, this was only a dollar a yard, so. And it was normally like 20 something dollars a yard. So I was like, yeah, I'm buying all that. I felt sorry for everybody behind me that day because there's a whole lot of people behind me waiting for their turn to cut fabric. And normally I have a bunch of fabric to cut, but it's just one yard increment, so it doesn't take forever. But that day I was buying all these leftover bits and they were giving away their remnants for free. So I was just taking advantage of all of this, taking it for cheap. <laughs> but uh, it's not going to be fun cutting this. It's going to really be annoying cutting that, but I will do it. But yeah, that's all my acquisitions. I bought a lot of stuff <laughs> the last week or so. And I feel like I maybe bought another yarn, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I was looking at Hobby Lobby yesterday, but I just, I try not to buy yarn unless they're super cheap or I really, really want them like these. <laughs> I've been wanting this forever. So you'll probably be seeing this starting a project soon. And it'll probably definitely be a blanket because I've got a lot of yardage here. They are each 344 times six. So that's a lot of yardage <laughs> but I, I guess that's everything i want to share with you guys um like i said i want to thank everybody for all the emails and messages and comments and thoughts and prayers and stuff and it's been comforting reading all of those i haven't really responded to many because um i can't <laughs> right now i'm just trying to not focus on bad stuff and focus on the good stuff but um I didn't want to make a video because I miss talking to everybody and uh, sharing all my stuff. And I'm really excited about these new bags. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys buy them. <laughs> I was I was telling Devin, I was like, I'm working so hard on these. I hope that people actually like them because if they don't like them, then what am I going to do with them? I'm going to have a ton of them. Just be giving them as gifts. But they're fun to make. So I'm enjoying making them at least. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.